Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the San Diego Annual Egg Fest presented by Hot Sauces and more. We're gonna ask for those that would like to participate at 10.30, Sharp Gorman Cooking Wood with Patty. Cooking type will be wood in this section in the corner. We'll start the class at 10.30. Please gather around. The woods are also, um, throughout the United States, people have favorite woods. So if you ever watch uh, Frank from Barbecue, he's all about post oak. That's all that he uses, but it also is regional, so it comes from his area of the country. Uh, we're very blessed at the woodshed to bring in post oak from Texas or Oklahoma and Hot Sauces and More carries it as well. They get it from us, and um, it's very unique. It's from the same family as white oak, so it's similar, but it also gives out a different flavor. It has a different smell to it, and um, our pit master on our team, Shark from Cooking Wood, he just started using post oak, and he's totally hooked on it. He loves it. He thinks the flavor is very unique, and um, that's all he uses now. So. Definitely try different things and see what you like. Uh, pecan comes from the same family as hickory does, but it's a little, it's also very smooth, and people like to also mix it up. People don't think about mixing the different woods, but you definitely can do that. So pecan is very smooth, but people like to add cherry to it because cherry is going to give you a nice <laughs> color and it's going to add a little bit more flavor. But Sometimes, if you're using just cherry, it can be a little too strong. If you're using just cherry on chicken, it can get really dark, almost a blackish color, and that kind of turns some people off to it. So um, just because you try something once and it doesn't work out, try something else. So I remember uh, my mom tried cherry, and she's like, oh, wood, that's just terrible. It got so smoky, and it was so dark, and I said, just try something else. And now she only cooks. I will show you charcoal in her bag, but she'll also always use chunks. So when you're using it in like a big green egg, the perfect thing to use are chunks. And again, they're sold at the uh, at hot sauces and more in bags that look like this. Um, so there, there's just there's enough in there for a few uses, definitely. And they're uh, the perfect size for the big green egg. So you're gonna still put in your charcoal. And you're going to put in three or four chunks and then put a little bit more charcoal on top of it and then get it going. So what it's going to do, the charcoal is going to give you the heat that you need to cook with. But the chunks are just going to give it a nice flavor. And I have a list here that uh, you can take with you. And it kind of goes over the different food pairings to us. What is as good as mine? You know, you pair it with, with the food that you're cooking. So uh, traditionally, in the Central Coast of California, is tri-tip. Everybody loves tri-tip. You go to uh, Santa Maria, you have to have a tri-tip. They use red oak consistently on tri-tip. It gives it a very unique flavor, and it's just really delicious. So whenever you're doing tri-tip, I always suggest that you chunk the red oak. We'll definitely change it up, and it'll bring back memories of when we were in Santa Maria, because it tastes just as good. Um, other pairings, I already talked about turkey. Poultry with peach, ribs, peach is wonderful. Uh, maple is nice and mild as well. And then if you want something that's really different and unique, grape is something people don't think about much, but grape is really good with wild game because it's so strong. Um, and even hamburgers. When I do hamburgers at home on the grill, I'll always use grape to give it a nice flavor. Um, I brought some olive as well because, of course, our big grenades are also pizza ovens. So olive is what's used traditionally in Italy for all of the pizzas. It's been a really nice and neat flavor as well. It smells wonderful when it's burning. Um, like I said, post oak, chicory, and um, pecan, those all come out of Oklahoma or Texas. So when you're buying that at Hot Sauce, uh, you're buying the same thing that they're using in Oklahoma and Texas and the uh, central United States. So it's really fun. A barbecue is such a um, a unique thing because we can make it our own. So when people come to your home, they're tasting your flavors and what you like, and you're sharing that barbecue with them. And and wood just adds another element of making it your own. And definitely try different things. 
don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to make different woods. Uh, go online and research. Uh, Harry Sue is here today. He has a great YouTube channel. And he goes, there's Harry Sue. Hi, Harry. And he's right behind the stairs taking. But uh, he has a great channel with great, great tips and pointers. He talks a lot about using wood and uh, different types of woods, different flavors, and to test things. And um, definitely, there's so many great tools out there that we never we didn't have five years ago. So I always say, just do your research. Uh, just Google cooking wood and see what people are doing with it throughout the country and here um, in the US. So there's different um, types. There's logs, chunks, and chips. So you see the white bags here. Those are full-size logs, which are going to be too big for the big green egg. But if you also have an offset at home, or a Santa Maria grill at home, uh, the white log bags are definitely what you will need. Add the wood chunks to that. And then if you're using a gas grill or a smoker, which is a small smoker box, then you go into the chips. And whenever you use chips, make sure that you soak them for at least a half an hour, and then drain the water, and then put them in your smoker box. Uh, because if you just use them like this, they're just going to ignite, and you won't get any flavor from them. Uh, the thing about our wood chunks that is different from others is that they are not chilling dry. So they still have some moisture in them, so you do not need to soak the chunks or the logs. They're ready to go, ready to use, and they still have a nice flavor by still having, by not being coming away. So you definitely want to make sure that when you store them, uh, the burlap bags are fine, but you still have air flow while you store them. You don't want to like seal them in a plastic container because then the moisture can set in and cause them to So that is basically the aspects of cooking with wood. And just remember that you can use it in anything. Like I said, you can use wood in your gas grill. If you don't have a smoker box, you can put them in foil, poke some holes in it, wait for it to start smoking before you add your meat. And um, it's just fun.